Hey guys, on this episode of TFL Camper Corner, I'm gonna show you a trailer that you probably never knew about. This is a brand new 2021 Cimarron Freedom, and it's a toy hauler. What does it all mean? Well, it means it's a camping trailer with a living quarters in the front, which I'll show you in a second. It also means it has the largest garage in the business, so you can haul some big toys. And of course, it has an awning. This is actually one of their smaller trailers. Let's walk out and just kind of take it all in and then I'll show you inside of it. As always, this video is made possible by our friends at TransWest. Use the link below, check them out, transwest.com. This trailer is for sale there. They also have motorhomes, accessories for trucks and all kinds of towing supplies. This is basically a 29 foot long trailer. They also have freedom trailers that are much longer with a larger living space and a slide out. So if you prioritize your living space a little bit higher on the list, you can get a trailer, freedom trailer, which is longer. It's still a toy hauler, but it's not like one of those fifth wheels. This is a gooseneck trailer and it's not very tall. It's about, it's not even eight feet tall. So if you see those giant, 13 foot tall fifth wheel toy haulers. This is kind of a solution that's a little bit more compact, a little bit more efficient towing down the highway. Oh, well, let's take a look at the gooseneck first and I'll show you inside. I usually prefer the gooseneck attachment actually to the fifth wheel because when you disconnect the trailer from the truck, you don't have that big fifth wheel a hitch in the bed. So like you see here, um, today we're using a Gen Y Torsion Flex uh, gooseneck attachment, but it just attaches in the center with a 2 and 5 16 ball. You got safety chains, breakaway cables, 7 pin connection. It's all very proper. It's all aluminum. This trailer, um, it has a steel frame and has aluminum construction. Very, very high quality, very tough. I'll show that to you in a second when we open the garage. Here's your living space. This is your bedroom over um, this gooseneck hitch attachment which goes on the truck here's you have the awning it's a powered awning with LED lights and uh, you can get them in multiple colors today uh, we're also shooting a night gauntlet world stuff is towing test which is on TFL truck channel and here on TFL off-road I wanted to show you this trailer because it's meant for off-roading in this case it's kind of matching the color matches the truck but if you look at the axles first of all pretty tough eight lug hubs, heavy duty axles. Uh, total rating on this particular model is 14,000 pounds of just total vehicle weight. And the trailer by itself weighs just over 11,000 pounds. So you have about 3,000 pounds of payload you can put inside of this particular trailer. But if you look at the floor, see how high it sits. So it's not like a regular Cimarron trailer that's kind of riding lower and you can load horses into. This is a totally different thing. And if you look at the center line of the hub, it's actually the floor is above it. So you have good clearance. You can be on gravel roads like this. Of course, you're not gonna do like a Rubicon trail or anything <laughs> with this trailer, but on kind of light off-roading where you can get, wanna get to the trailhead with your toys, this is ideal. Let's go look inside and check out the living quarters. And Cimarron works with Outlaw, which is an outfitter basically for the interior. And here you have a kind of a double door, screen door, and a solid door with a blackout shade. I mean, this is very high quality. Everything feels solid, heavy. There's a step, a folding step right here. Uh, welcome to the house portion of the trailer. So we'll come in just a little bit closer. So like I said, this is your bed your bedroom in the front. I'm not gonna lie down because I'm wearing my boots and I've been in dirt all day, but um, here's the TV. You got cabinetry on both sides, windows on both sides, light switch controls. You also have um, an optional satellite antenna here so you can watch any programming you're usually used to, even on the road, which is pretty nice. 
You have um, a bunch of cubby holes, storage right here. And this is also a very high-tech trailer. Normally, a trailer like this would have a generator, which you run to run your air conditioning system, uh, your awnings, your lights, etc. Well, this has a lithium-ion battery pack, not regular lead-acid battery pack. It's hiding in here. I can't quite open this because this is kind of a screwed-in panel, but there's a bank of lithium-ion batteries under here. And they're high-capacity, lightweight, does add to the cost of the trailer a little bit. What that allows you to do is have an inverter which is hidden underneath the nose of the trailer 3000 watts. So it's quite enough power to actually run a lot of the accessories. So in here you have a kitchen. Actually you have a sink kind of uh, built in together with a burner stove. You have a hood ventilation. You have your stereo system. You have your microwave. You have your thermostat, heating, and air conditioning you can set it like you would any house you can check your black water gray water fresh water batteries um, right now we're full battery capacity and everything else is empty because this is a brand new unit hasn't been basically touched until just now good size fridge freezer and fridge um, and now in here there's a sliding door but in here we're entering in the bathroom space so this is kind of a circular corner shower, but still it's got a uh, sunlight. Everything is proper, feels like a house. Now we're entering the 16 foot garage. And normally if you had a toy hauler, your garage could be nine feet, 11 feet, 12 feet. This is 16. So if you do have that four seater side by side, you could fit it in here. Pardon the mess. So part of the eye gauntlet, we need to be have a precise weight which is why I'm using water ballast when we're doing a towing test. So you're kind of seeing behind the scenes of what we do at TFL Truck, testing trucks on the mountain, the world's toughest towing test. So I have about almost 3,000 pounds of ballast right here. But as you can see, for the garage space, you have really nice solid shelves. You can put your oil or, or other things. You have multiple vents in, in the walls. Very solid construction, insulated. You have two beds, one on this wall, one on this wall, and they're easy to fold out. Then you have really cool lockable storage spaces. And the, this is aluminum, really, like, just everything has a funk to it. It's really high quality, I really like that. Your, your hooks for hanging stuff. And let me open the garage, so check it out. Hey guys, yeah, I kind of have to give this a heave ho because this is a very heavy duty door. Um, the guys at Transwest tell me that this door can hold about 3,000 pounds of maximum load. So that's not an issue for a side by side. The biggest Razor Pro XP we had weighed about 2,000 pounds, a four seater. And that's about 1,000 pounds per axle. So if you're putting it on this door, easy peasy, nothing, no deflection, nothing. Then you have a track system with these movable loops. In this case, we're tying down ratchets to the water ballast, but you can put them anywhere along this garage. So if you're prioritizing toys, this is the way to go. This trailer, that's why it's called the Freedom. If you have something broken down on your toy, boom, workspace. And finally, on this side, let me show you. There's a little fuel tank here and a nozzle, and this is really for your toys. So you can turn on the pump and actually fill up your, whatever you're running with the fuel you need. It's pretty handy, and it's just a nice little door just to do that. So this is an overview of this trailer. Oh yeah, I forgot. You see on top of there, they say this is the fastest trailer in the world. Of course they're joking, but uh, it does have a wing. You may have seen it on also on some school buses use it. It's for aerodynamics, but not the kind you're thinking of. Basically, we've been running dirt roads for the last couple days. But look, there's not much dust on this rear door. And that's because the air coming off the roof swooshes down using the wing and kind of blows some of the dirt off of it. And finally, you're probably asking, how much is this trailer? Well, prices change all the time. There's all kinds of deals. So click the link in the description below, transwest.com slash Frederick in Colorado. And 
this trailer is for sale and they also have a wide selection of trailers right there. Thanks and go back to tfloffroad.com for all the news views and real world off-road camping trailer and all kind of machine reviews.